the stream. This game is incredibly loud. Hold on. I've got to turn this game down. I cannot hear myself think. Oh, God. So loud. Is that better? No? That's not really better. Hey, pharynx. God, that's still really loud. Whew. Super loud. All right. Anyway. Welcome to Meridian 59. <laughs> yes, this game is interesting. How dare you? Hold on. I'm going to tweet out on my Discord that I'm going live. Because I'm a crazy person, and I went live really early. Anyway, off we go. So this is one of the original OG MMOs. Like, this is super old school. And oh yes, I am keyboard turning. Because that is how you play this game. Old school. How you doing, Pharynx? You good? Heck yeah. Okay, I gotta remember how to attack. How do I attack? Hold up. One of these buttons is attack. And that's a mummy. Oh yeah, no, I know all about this game. I used to play the crap out of this game. Hold left click. I don't think that's right. It's possible, though. Where you at? Okay, I have totally forgotten how to freaking attack. Hold, please. How did I forget how to freaking attack? Cool. Let's see here. Unlock communication, interacting, offer by attack. Okay. Got it. There we go. Okay. Hey, a fair lind. I got friends. So I didn't go over character creation. Um, I'm doing like a pure, a pure warrior build just because that's. I know, fair lind. Finally, a decent time for you. Well, you can thank my work. They let me off early today, so. Hi, Dark Soul. So mostly Might and Endurance. I think that's right. I think I just went mostly Might. So mostly... I think this is kind of like a medium build. I don't know what the hell that guy wants. What do we got here? Chocolate bars? Chocolate mint. I am live early, Zastier. My work let me off early, so I'm going early. We're punching. Um, mostly I have punch, brawl, slash. That's really about it. Punch, brawl, and slash. And blink. Oh. What you want? Well, 
I am proud. What can I say? I like to see hives cover smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Soul. Thank you so much for the sub. 14 months in a row is crazy. Yeah, I can get a shield or uh, a mace. I mean, I have maces in my inventory, but I don't think I can get mace skill yet. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe they added that later on. I played this game when it first launched. Ooh, tougher. So you see this down here? Where it says you suddenly feel a little tougher and you are invigorated by your success? That means I gained an HP. So you start off with 20 HP and you slowly work your way up one by one until you get 100 plus your endurance. So what is my endurance? Or my stamina? 35? So I can get up to a maximum of 135. <laughs> Still looks better than Bless Online. This is one of the first MMOs. There's a bunch of hoopla about which is actually the first MMO. Anyway, so it, it, a lot of people say it was Neverwinter. A lot of people say it was The Realm. A lot of people say it was this. It, it kind of varies, but basically, well, MUDs were the first MMOs, but this is like one of the first graphical MMOs. Like, this released before you, uh, Ultima Online, so... And I'm ignoring that guy, because I don't know who he is. I've improved the Art of Punch. So, much like HP... Oh, thank you, Blacktooth, for the Twitch Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Supreme Creator. You are black, back, black tooth. I missed you. Anyway, one of the, if not the first graphical MMO. Anyway, so I improved the art of punch, if you saw up a little while ago. Which, if you click over here, so you have skills, which you level up, and get out of my face, dude! Stop stealing my kills, man! I don't know what that means. What you doing? Killing. Just doing stuff. How much data does this app use? <laughs> hey, if this was a mobile game, I would play the shit out of this. I would. I would play the ever-loving crap out of this. Woo! Jump. You know. This is pseudo 3D. This is 2D, just in a... It's mostly 2D. <laughs> Am I doing a video on this? This was like my third or fourth video ever. I'll probably come back to it, but I am playing this purely for fun at the moment. But I will probably do another video on this at some point. I just need to get a little bit further, so... I'll probably sink some time into it and do another video on it. Because fuck it. I just want to play games I like. I don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm being paid to play it. Yes! A game that makes zero money. Are you too young if you don't know this game? Yep. <laughs> this is the OG era of MMOs. I would totally take an up ver updated version of this game. Like, 100% would take one. See, this game is two years older than you, F-Shovel, and I played it at launch. So, take that into account, baby. <laughs> You're 31 and you didn't know about this game? Well, that's too bad. You missed out. This game 
is amazing. Yep, mummy butt. The mummy's got some nice glutes. Ready 59 still in early access? Nope. This game is far out of early access. Real far. It is on Steam. Oh, good, XT Leo. Well, welcome to the stream, buddy. I got tougher. Hell yeah. 25 HP, bitches. This game came out back in 1995? 1995. Where are the other 58 games? I don't know. Why does he keep asking? It don't matter, man. 1996? Okay. That was a year off. Late 95? Eh. Somewhere around there. 95, 96 ish. Herbs. I need herbs. Anyway, this game is freaking, this was the shit, and honestly still is. So, tell me if, you, if this sounds interesting to you, okay? An MMO with skill-based progression, the ability to pick any skills you want. So you go and pick any skills you want out of any class or any uh, school that you want. Okay, I gotta remember if I can do this. Let's see here, is it you? What, how do I do this? Oh, hold on. You're lost? Dude. There's a map. Oh, it's not close enough. Hold on, I can do this. You're supposed to do this with a friend. Anyway, also has full PvP with a justice system, though, so you can declare criminals, stuff like that. Okay, can I just hit use or G or something like that? I already use F anything? No? Hmm. Hello, Dragon Shadow. Anyway. be able to do this. Dang it. Wrong button. Oh, come on. Not close enough. You have to pull both. Dang it. Dang it. You used to be better at this. Okay, there you use a button. Hold on, I'm gonna look at the button. How do I use interaction? Deposit, open, pick up. Can I just hit space? Nope, space don't work. Oh, lost chat, hold on. I'm coming back, chat. I lost you. There we go. I need to plug in my phone, apparently. Okay. 300 megabytes, guys. You best... Slow down. You don't want to be friggin'. Whew. Don't do it, guys. Okay, communicate. No. Open, pick up, look, examine, buy, deposit, withdraw. That doesn't help. Okay, no, that was help. Dang it. Wrong button. Does this game still have a player base? Don't know. Yes. This was my. One of my first MMOs ever. Dang it. Dang it. All right, I'm going to give this up here in a second. Dang it. Okay, I'm never giving this up. What do you mean I wasn't close enough? I was right there, you stupid game. Oh, come on. Screw you. Whatever. We're about to go to the real world anyway. You. I want to attack you. There we go. So this game also has open PvP with a uh, justice system. So when you hit somebody 
who is not a PvPer, your name will be white starting off as an innocent. If you hit somebody, your name will turn orange because then you'll be like an outlaw type thing. And anybody can kill you and you'll lose your orange status, but you won't be a red status. If you kill somebody, you turn into red status and you will stay red until somebody pardons you. There is a guy who will pardon you named the Justicar uh, who is an elected player. He's actually a player who's elected to be Justicar. Back in the day, it was awesome. Anyway. Being a healer wasn't really viable back in the day, Pharynx. Uh, there are heal skills, and you can use them, and people can, like, you know, max out healing. But you still want to max out some kind of damage, because there's really no reason to fully max out, like, no real reason to be a full-out healer. No, we are not doing a hive ganking session. You can't PvP until I'm at 30 HP, and I'm at 25. I need to leave, though. I can't get any more HP while I'm here. You're doing well. Yep. So I gotta leave. Alright, I'm out of here. So being a hybrid is decent. Like, being a hybrid is a very valid thing. There are... I, there's stories of the people who have maxed out every skill in the game. It takes a long time. But it is possible. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's head to the real world. Thanks, Magikarp's Ghost. I mean, tsh, this game is rocking them graphics. You must admit. Off we go. Yeah, I know. She's the damn portal. And I'm in... Which city is this? I'm trying to remember. Kornoth? I think I mean Kornoth. Kornoth! Ha <laughs> ha! This music, damn yo. Hi, John Smith the Gnome. Welcome. This reminds you of playing Daggerfall? It should. Everjane Saturday? No, no, no. No. Alright, we're headed to Toss. <laughs> Will I cover Legends of Aria at launch? Probably not. Um, I have been voicing their trailers. Um, they asked me to voice their trailers for them. So I've been voicing their trailers, and I believe that probably makes me a little too close and a little too involved in their production to actually do it. I think people will be like, well, you voiced their stuff. You're, you're not part impartial or whatever. And so, whatever. Did I ever play Stonekeep? I did not. All right, we are now at the gates of Toss. I am not a dev. I am just their voice. Check out that rat. That rat is a badass. Anyway, so I won't do it just because, again, I don't want anybody to say, oh, you were, you're too closely involved. Even though I just voiced their stuff, I'd rather just not do it. So, I like the game well enough. Although, I will say, I'm not... I was never a huge... This music does rock, by the way. This music is friggin' awesome. Um, so, honesty time. I was never a huge UO fan. I was more of an EverQuest guy. So, it, that kind of like... I played this, and then I played EverQuest. Ultima Online was there, and I did play it briefly. But I was never fully into it. I was more into this and EverQuest. And so, for me, like, the game that I'm really looking forward to is, uh... The music is very good in this game. Like, super good. Um... I'm going this way because I want to go over here to the... This place. Oh, that's not my one. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Now I talk to you. Hold on. Trying to remember how I do this. Hmm. How do I talk to you? I have forgotten. <laughs> Too long didn't read. He wants Pantheon. So yeah, Pantheon is my more. Oh, thank you, Christopher. Thank you so much. And I can't see my freaking text, my bar, my chat bar down at the bottom. Um, let me see here. 
Yeah, I do want Pantheon. Slap him with your fist. Train. Nope. You have to talk to him, I think. Everyone for help. Ah! I'm part of a whole new window. That is not what I wanted. Go away. How do I interact? I'll play Pantheon quite a bit. I don't think the MMO community is torn between Pantheon and Ashes of Creation. Those are two very different games. Like, very different games. Damn it, somebody remember me. <laughs> Get good. I don't remember. Come on, there's a way to do this. Yep. How do I talk to you? Anyway, very, very different. Okay, so here's who's logged on. 19 players logged on to the game at this time. Woo! Gotta be careful, guys. I have totally forgotten how to do this. Dag nabbit. Give me a minute. Quick reference. Move back, move forward, print check. Tell, broadcast, emote. Get, drop, good, wave, point, happy, natural, tap, cast. Not what I want. This is a very good track to go under high speed. I'm trying to remember. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you, Christopher. Much appreciated. I can't believe I've totally forgotten how to do this. I'm trying to remember how the hell I do this. Hold on. Buy? How do I fucking buy? Hold on. Wrap this. Nope. Uh, configuration? Maybe. On her. B. There we go. I got it. All right, buying mace. We're going to buy some leather armor. I figured it out, guys. I'm going to buy a long sword. Oh, can't buy leather armor. Oh, well. I figured it out. It was control B. Pulse pounding remembering. Okay. You can't see my buy menu. Well, that's okay. You'll survive. All right, so now I got a mace. Check out them mace graphics. Oh, yeah. I was clicking on nothing. Eh, oh well. Win some, lose some. Again, it's weird whenever games are kind of like in a weird little screen like this. Hey, Magikarp's ghost. What I do in my own time is none of your business. Okay. None your business. None ya. Alright, we had to eat. I'm not killing centipedes. Killing centipedes gives you negative karma. There's a karma system in this game, and you do not want negative karma. Let's beat some rats. Take some rats' ass. for more rats to kill. And welcome to the rest of my time with Meridian 59 for today. <laughs> Killing rats. Hell yeah. 
Eh, well, you'll never know, Christopher. You'll never know. And you'll just have to deal with that later in your own time. Damn, I love this music. Just hope they don't turn scaven on you. <laughs> Yes, you would want negative karma if you went with core magic. If you went with uh, Karan, Karanan magic, you would want, like, just middle of the line. Shalel, you would want... Uh, you would want uh, positive karma. So it's kind of... There's like a, a mix and match. But yeah, core is where you would want negative karma. You would have to have it. Otherwise, you couldn't cast their spells. So it's a thing. There's a... Totally a thing. All right, Blacktooth, thank you for coming, buddy. I appreciate the sub. You have a good day. And I hope everybody has a good holiday if you're in the States. God, I love this music. Anyway. You have to work. Oh, that sucks. I'm sure you could probably find it on YouTube. <laughs> I don't think you can buy it, but I think it's out there. Yeah, there you go, Pharynx. You got it. Again, I'm running off of memory here. Because, again, I played this when I was like... Okay, so... Oh, I'm trying to remember how old I was. Hey, Soth. So I would have been 11 when this game came out. I think I was 11. And so I used to play... I played the crap out of this game. Like, if I'm pretty sure if I brought this up to my dad, I'd be like, Hey, Dad, do you remember Running 59? He goes, oh, that game. You used to play the hell out of that, and you know, I could never get you off the freaking internet. Because, you know, dial-up internet back in the day. I don't think Farron needs karma. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? Everybody good? I have to start killing some centipedes. I need to go regain some health. All right, so if I remember correctly, you simply sit here and kill a bunch of stuff around here for a long time until you get more HP and uh, everything. And after you do that, have I ever tried Space Hulk Deathwing? No, I have not tried that one. Is that a Warhammer game? Pretty sure that's a Warhammer game, isn't it? Or my thing is something else. <laughs> Welcome to Toss. Does anybody remember this? I, I, I'm guessing, did anybody play this? I'm guessing nobody played this. This is a revamp of the town. So, like, this is not the first iteration of this game. <laughs> this game used to have a different town. Anyway, after you kill enough stuff in there, you come over here to the graveyard at nights and fight all the bad guys, which are not here. Where the, where these trees come from? That's new. The trees are new. There used to be bad guys here. No more bad guys? They take away the graveyard? Don't tell me you took away the graveyard. A candle. Okay. Does this game have quests? Yes, it does. It does have quests. It also has extremely rare loot. Like, this game has stuff where there's only one item of it in the entire game. So, like, you'll come across stuff, or there's a sword, particular sword in the game. There's literally only one of them. So I can go down there, but there's nothing in here right now. Okay, I'm headed out. Nothing going on here right now. Usually there's a bunch of monsters here. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Another coating tries to kill your hardware. Eh, well, that, that happens. Hey, Boots. Let's see if anybody's hanging out in here. There are people hanging out in here. Let's see here. What do you got? Four loaves of bread. Wand of vampiric shock. Don't need any of that. People will just drop stuff in here. You can get drunk if you want. I think Lloyd Carnigan has been hanging out in a, for a long time. 
Like, I think he's been on for a long time. I think I remember him the last time I played this game, like, five years ago. Just saying. All right, I'm going to rest. Regain some of my stamina. See right here? You've got your vigor. And you could eat, or you can rest to gain it up and then eat to go past your max. It could be not late enough, or it could be too late. And no, he is not an NPC. NPCs look completely different. <laughs> you don't have to type out cast, so you can hit this right here, and then you can just double click to cast. It works. You don't actually have to type out cast. He's Hive's dream lover. Accurate. He gets to play Meridian 59 all day, every day. <laughs> if only I could be like him. My life is a shell compared to his. I'm just going to sit here and rest. All right. Are these edible? Nope, those aren't the edible ones. These are the edible ones. Eat some shrooms, yo. Mmm, yeah. All right, let's go. So how does levels and skill work? So there's no levels. Everything is skill-based. So you simply kill shit using whatever weapon slash skill you want to use. So right now I'm using a mace, and I'm raising my... Did I not buy fucking mace fighting? I don't think I bought mace fighting. Well, shit. Whatever. Put that away. All right, so brawling, punching, and slash. So to get slash, I need to use a, a sword. So I can use my sword and get some slash skill. Or I can punch and you get some punching skill. And then you get hit and fight stuff to gain HP. So as I continue to fight stuff, I'll gain HP... And again, all that freaking fighting was wasted because I was freaking using a mace and I don't even have my mace skill. I thought I bought that. Oh, well. And as you continue to get uh, skills in those, the more points you have or the more percentage points you have in everything. So, like, after all of these here, brawling, punch, slash, all add up to a certain amount, I can get the next level of skills. Um, so, yeah. I'll kind of show you here as soon as I get... He who can't rob a train. Hey, just because I can't rob a train in Red Dead Redemption doesn't mean nothing. Anyway, items will all break. So, like, there's no particularly, like, every item you use in the game is not a particularly, like, a rare item. So, like, in World of Warcraft, you'll go around gathering items and it's like, I got this super rare mace. Oh, wait, I got another super rare mace. And, like, five minutes later and then you can continue to get super rare items. That is not how this game works. Everything in this game can break. It's like, you have a longsword. It will break. You have a scimitar. It will break. By the way, scimitar is probably the best swords in the game. Um, at least from what I remember. Things have probably changed. But yeah, like, it's all about killing stuff and gaining skill levels and HP. So, I should be walking around. I shouldn't be running. And see this action combat. I'm holding down the E button right now to attack. That is action combat. So, like, you'll only have long swords and maces and stuff. There won't be, like, a scintillating mace of running. None of that. Uh, Pantheon, I don't know. I couldn't tell you how long it's going to be. My guess is that we probably won't see the game released until 2020. But we'll probably have, like, a, a beta phase next year, I'm betting. Pulse pounding slashing. That's right, guys. Welcome to... <laughs> Welcome to Meridian 59. And no, I don't give a shit. I posted a poll on Twitter earlier. I was like, what game should I play? Red Dead Redemption... Maple Story 2, Meridian 59, or this. this and. Looks cool and it's as old as I am. <laughs> well, thank you. Much appreciated, Artemides. Oop. There we go. I improved. Okay, so there you go. Right down here, you improved the art of slash. So my slash went up to 18%. And there you go. That's how leveling in this game works. <laughs> Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. You can try this now, man. This is free to play and everything. It's awesome. 
Hi, Boots. Come here. I'm afraid they're all, like, freaking out. They're like, there's a person here. Aw, oh, you attacking Boots. Oh, you attack Boots. That's cool. Like, actual players of this game are like, oh, my God. There's a person. Everybody freak out? Anyway, uh, everybody voted for Red Dead Redemption 2 on my on my poll, and then Maple Story 2 was kind of close behind it, and then I just said, eh, screw it. <laughs> I'm going to play Burning 59, because I want to. Screw you guys. But I still love you. I just really wanted to play this. Oh, ah, well, that's okay, Christopher. Fine. Stay calm, it's a bot. It's a boot, not a bot. There's a difference. Unless they're Canadian. <laughs> uh, boot jokes. Sorry, Canada. <laughs> you get it. It's a boot. If they're Canadian. Could also be f and just, you know, Northwesterners. I gotta go sell some stuff. I figure out how to sell now. <laughs> Interaction. Offer. Okay. Red mushrooms. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Money. Hint fairy boot. Yeah, more money. Look at all that money. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Kanzina. Kanzina? Kanzina? We'll go with Kanzina. I might be smuggling illicit drugs for Mac Profit. Hey, how's it going, Rex? You doing all right? I sell all this. You can't see my sell screen, but I'm selling stuff. All right, so now I'm up to 4,992. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. But you can see it now. Yeesh. All right, we're gonna go get some. We're gonna go buy some armor. First, I'm gonna kill this rat. I'm gonna kill all the rats, and then I'm gonna go. Yeah, Magic Carp's ghost. I try not to think about. Ah! I try not to think about Star Citizen much because it worries me plus i refuse to talk about it until it's got you know further like it's it's ready when it's ready then i'll talk about it until then i ain't talking about it all right off we go gonna go buy freaking mace fighting which i should have bought in the first place Anyway, on Saturday, everybody, we're going to be playing some, uh... I think that guy's trying out to PK or something. What is he doing? Anyway. Exactly. That's correct. Magikarp. When it's no longer just an alpha or something like that, I'll get hyped up. Kill the spider! Look at that baby spider. That's a baby spider. Ooh. All please. Thank you. I don't doubt you can see my loot screen either. So what happens when you reach 100% and then you move on to the next skill? Okay, so somebody asked if there were quests in the game. This right here, this is a quest. Rook tells you, I'm feeling a little sick. I don't suppose you could go to Widow Quizno and ask her for a bowl of her special chicken soup, could you? I'd be most grateful. That is a quest. He literally just gave me a quest. You don't have it in an inventory somewhere. You don't have it in a quest log. You just have to say that and say, oh, okay. He wants a bowl of soup. Go get a bowl of soup. That is your quest. And that's the way I like it. I don't need no friggin' quest trackers or some shit. Just give me this right here. You gotta remember that crap. Alright. Base fighting. Bye. There we go. And now I'm also gonna buy some leather armor. Bye. 
Leather armor. And here you go. Now I've got leather armor. Booyah. Hey, gray old twit. How's it going? Is it going well? Let's go to a different city. Hope this uh, better. Is anybody really excited for World of Warcraft Classic? If you think that game takes a long time to get anywhere. All right, Magikarp's Ghost. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you coming by, buddy. Saturday, we're going to be playing Jackbox Party Pack. So, you know, if you show up on Saturday night for the stream, be prepared to play with us. Ooh, that spider's coming to get me. Run away. Again, I, my wife was looking at Classic and going, ugh, it's so painful to get anywhere in that game. It takes so long. And I'm like, exactly. Ooh, Valkyria Chronicles 4? I haven't played Valkyria Chronicles 4, I don't think. Have fun reliving life when it wasn't such a failure. I didn't read the rest of your comment, Magikarp's Ghost. You're a jerk. What is this? I don't know what that is. Yeah, everything is on sale. It's freaking like Black Friday started three days ago. I don't know what this totem is. I don't think I'm gonna pick that up. Cause I don't trust it. I bought way too much stuff. So I bought a new mouse. I've actually bought a whole bunch of stuff the past couple weeks. So uh, for those of you who've been around the stream for a while, uh, especially the Saturday streams, I've been talking about freaking uh, wireless mics for forever. Because getting out... So when the four of us stream on Saturdays, getting out four microphones, setting up four microphones with microphone stands and having four microphone cables running all over the freaking room is a huge pain in the ass. It is annoying as hell. So I've been talking about getting wireless mics for a while just to say, hey, you know what? Wireless mics would probably be a whole lot easier. So I was going to try that out and then finally got them and they work really well. I got them yesterday and tried them out and I think they work pretty well. So I'm excited about that. I also bought a new mouse. I bought the Logitech G600. I've been using a Razer Naga for like the past two years. If anybody remembers that video when I reviewed the Razer Naga. Um... because the Razer had given it to me, so I reviewed it for them. And with that, the number one key on that was starting to give out after two years. Like, again, you have the 20 buttons on the side or whatever the hell, the 12 buttons on the side. So I decided to get a new one and I improved the art of Slash. In your face. Anyway, so... Uh, Anyway, uh, I hear an ant. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a tougher yet. I'm heading back to the frickin' frackin' whatever. Anyway, uh, so after the Naga, I looked into... Oh, shit. Run. Those things will kill you. Groundworms are going to kick my ass. Uh, I looked into all the different MMO mice... And decided on the G600. It was either that or the Steel Series. And I don't know how good Steel Series is. If anybody knows how good Steel Series is, let me know. Natural Born Killer. Jerry. Dio. Mule Zor. See, some of these people... Okay, so that sword right there, that is the Hunter's... I forget which sword that is. That is one of those popular, like, hardcore swords that that guy has. So that thing is, is rare. And I think if you die, you lose it? Maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. But some of the things these people have are legit, like, good. The people wearing robes, 
you can get robes to certain schools to uh, increase your gains in that school. So, like, if you wear a core robe, you can gain core. So that guy's wearing a Karanin robe, I think. So he gains skill in Karanin faster. It's kind of nice. All right, Christopher, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the bits. Have a good night. Anyway, <clears throat> back to what I was saying. Yeah, Angry Magic, so far I'm really liking it. Again, I've only had it for a day, though. I got oh, everything I ordered in the past few weeks I got yesterday. So again, I got my microphones yesterday. I got my G600 yesterday. I also got a new... Uh, I got a new Razer uh, keypad. So I used to use the Orb Weaver, which again, if anybody remembers, I used the Orb. I reviewed the Orb Weaver because uh, Razer sent me one. But I used it for editing video, which was extremely useful. Um, I, I loved it. I really did. I loved the crap out of using. I, I loved the crap out of using my freaking Orb Weaver to edit. But the Orb Weaver has a problem that I didn't know about until much later on, which is the wrist rest is made out of rubber and it's glued down to the plastic uh, casing of the whole product. This guy's coming to kill me. Thank you two first. Anyway, it comes up. It came unglued, which is really annoying. So uh, we had gotten Wibbles a uh, Razor Tartarus a while back, and it's got like a full like polycarbonate wrist rest thing. So I got one of those for myself to edit video. So, I got a new one of those to edit video. And then I got a bunch of accessories for my Switch, because my we got, I got a Switch for my birthday, and my kids have been playing the Switch a lot, and I needed some accessories for that. So, yeah. Good stuff. Okay, I'm going to kill one of these. And you're going to see what happens to Karma. Here, I'm going to switch over here to my Karma. I'll probably lose Karma, I think, for killing him. Nio is a f fantastic game. Nio is absolutely fantastic. So I lost a little Karma there. I went down to 14 Karma. So yeah, killing centipedes makes you lose Karma. Killing spiders makes you gain it. So if I go kill more spiders, I'll gain it. Anyway, Nio is like, there's a bunch of Souls-like games out there. So you got the Dark Souls series and the Bloodborne, which are all kind of made by the same people. And then you have a bunch of other people who have tried to make Souls games. And while all of them are typically okay, Nio is the only one that I think is on par with the Souls series. Like, it's freaking awesome. I love Nio. I suddenly feel a little tougher. I'm at the 26 HP. Booyah! So see, down here, you suddenly feel a little tougher. That means I gained an HP. Now I'm up at 26. And it invigorated me, which means it put me up into 200 vigor. Hell yeah! It's $25 now on Steam. Get it. If you haven't played it, get it. It is friggin' fantastic. If you like Souls Likes, that is. If you don't like Souls Likes, then don't get it. Because it's a Souls Like. You're gonna be dying a lot. Yeah, if you don't like Soul styles of games and dying a lot and trial and error and stuff, it ain't worth it. You'll be bored out of your skull or just mad out of your skull. I'm still very proud, though. We taught Wibbles' his father, the professor, how to play Souls games. He's beaten Bloodborne like six times now. We taught him how to play video games, and he started with Bloodborne. How's that, how's that work for you? Actually, I think he started with... Like a Battlefield series. Okay, so I picked up another item. This item is for a quest. Well, I figured you probably did Dark Soul. You would love Nio, man. Nio is really good. You would love it. If you like Souls games, you would like it. Okay, can you all see this? Can you see that? No? Okay. Well, the ring, if you look at it, says it, it belongs to somebody named Hester Gilk. I now need to find somebody named Hester Gilk and give her this ring, and then she'll give me some money. And this is how this game works, guys. This is all you do. You sit here and you kill stuff. For a long time. So long, long, long periods of time. 
there are boss fights. So to get the, as I said earlier, the scimitar skill is probably the greatest skill in the game because it gets you from... Uh, yeah, do be careful about the Christmas sale. You might feel bad. I feel a little bad. I bought my uh, Logitech G600, and then like a few days later it went on sale at uh, Best Buy for like $20 lower than I bought it for. I was like, dang it. So, got to be careful about that kind of stuff. But, yeah, that's buyer's remorse for you. Things will happen. Things will always go down in price, and you'll feel bad. Bet the sword's about to break. No, it's good. You can't see the description of stuff. I feel bad. Sorry, guys. Killing rats. All right, Kazna. Thank you for coming, buddy. Have a good night. And have a good holiday if you're in America. Uh, sorry, Kazna. But you have a good time anyway. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you coming to the stream. I have improved the art of Slash. What's my Slash up to now? 21. Go Slash, go. As I get better with Slash, I kill things quicker. That is your progression in this game. It is very slow. It takes a long time to get much of anywhere. But I don't care. I love it. And I would still love to see a remake of this game. So, developers out there, if you're listening, make me a remake of Meridian 59, and I will promote the hell out of it. I'm going to reach out to my developer friends and be like, hey, I need a remake of Meridian 59, the MMO that nobody plays anymore, but that everybody kind of remembers. And I need you to make that for me, like, now. And I'm not going to give you any money, because I don't have any. Because I spent it all on wireless mics that I didn't need. I was just lazy of lugging around mic stands and mics and cables. So your damage is not based much on the weapon yourself itself. It is based mostly off the skill. That is correct. So it's going to be based off of your strength, I think. Your strength, your skill with the weapon, and uh, a little bit of the weapon itself. I think there's some ways to give it a little bit better attack. But really, again, all the weapons are the same. Everybody using a longsword is using a longsword. So there's a few different things you can do, I think, to kind of increase the damage you do, but very little. It's mostly based entirely on the skill that you are the, you know, the time you've bit spent building the skill. There's no real way just to go out and get a really badass weapon and kick some ass. You have to know how to use the freaking skill to use it. So if I went and bought a scimitar right now, which would later on be the best weapon you can use on its own, I wouldn't be able to do jack shit with it. It would hit for shit because I don't even have the scimitar skill. I could equip it, but I couldn't really use it. It would basically be pointless. I could hit harder with my fists. That's how the game works. And I know right now all I'm doing is killing rats. And I don't care. I could go to the beach and kill some slimes, I think. Let's go kill some slimes, shall we? I'm going to kill this last rat, and then I'll go. Come here, rat. All right, I'm going to go sell real quick, and then we'll go. You can also stop at the bank. So there are banks in this game. Very few, but there are. This way. All right, you can't see my screen right now, but I am selling crap to him. 
Let me see my inventory shrink down. Oh, he's not interested in something I offered him. Mushrooms? Is that what you're not interested in? No, you're interested in mushrooms. Okay, get rid of those. Those, those, those. Guess he wasn't... Okay. There you go. Get rid of those. And those. There we go. Let's go. Gorilla. Whew. Pothead for life. I'm sure he's regretting that name at some point. Grand Ages Medieval is only four bucks. Might be worth it. What what game isn't worth it at four bucks? Ah, troll! Don't hit me. Don't hit me. They hit so hard. It's possible he could kill me in like two hits. Nope, can't kill spiders. Run! Kill rat. So every enemy has four stages of health. Oop, improve the artist slash. Hell yeah. So every uh, thing has four stages of health. Slightly wounded, clearly wounded, seriously wounded, and then weak and near death, and then it dies. So if you were fighting a monster, you don't know what its health is, but you just know kind of rough approximately how close it is to dying. Let me see what this guy has. He's a traveling merchant. By the way, there's no jumping in this game. You got stuff to buy? He does. I'm going to buy some meat pies. I do not need that many meat pies. Give me like five. Five meat pies. What you got? Chain armor, scale armor. Ooh, thank you very much. Scale armor. I've now got scale armor. Scale armor is very good. What else you got? Golden round shield? Thank you. What else you got? I'm buying a whole bunch of stuff from this guy because he's got stuff. And I like stuff. I like my stuff. I'm going to offer you some stuff and see if you want it. You wanting that? Yeah, you do. Hell yeah, I made my money back. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Do you want... Let's see here. Oh, wait, I want... No. Offer. There we go. You want that? And that and that. Will you take that? Yay, okay. Now I have better armor. And a better shield. So armor works a little bit like uh, how you would think it would work. So armor itself is like, okay. If you have plate armor, you're gonna... You don't, like, build up games with armor. You don't build up, like, an armor skill. Marcella. Let's go in here into the sewers. Let's kill this rat. Because it's here. I probably should have bought backups for my armor. But that's okay. I'll deal with it. I actually don't know if I can kill these. I don't think I can. I'm going to try, but I don't think I can. Hey, what's up, yo? Hit me for one. Okay, he's shrugging off my attacks. It's probably not great. Can I punch him? There we go. I can punch him to death. Oh, yeah, I got this. Yeah, I'm the same way, Dark Soul. I have way too many games on my hard drive. I end up deleting a lot of them to make more room, and then I'm like, hey, I'm going to go back and play that game. Ah, oh, crap, I deleted it. <laughs> what the hell is this? I was never there before. That's new. Let's see if a maze, what a maze can do to one of these. So certain monsters are weak to certain things. So it looks like these are decently weak to maces. There we go. 
We kill some fungus. Some fungus beasts. This music is so damn good. I would love to know who the hell composed this. Somebody go look that up. Somebody go look up who composed Murder 59 music and tell me. I need to know. I must know. Oh yeah. Drunk. That's what drunkenness looks like in this game. What a tanky fungus. And <laughs> the guy who was talking to me earlier today <laughs> at the beginning of the stream was just killed by a rebel soldier. So if you know where he died, you could go pick up his stuff. Because you drop everything when you die, and when you do, anybody can pick up anything. That is the way this game works. It is hard. Core, man. <laughs> You're out to get me, aren't you? Yep. Bring it on. You can download the music from the main site? Hell yeah. Somebody go download that music. Everybody go download that music. Makes it 100% worth it. F shovel, you're slipping, man. One second. Used to be my go-to, man. I want to talk. Oh, that's right. I can use maces and also increase slash because it slashes. So you can re improve multiple things at the same time. Like using fist, I can do brawl. I can do brawl and punch. Using a mace, I can do mace and slash at the same time. So, it's good to pick the correct item for what you're doing. So, I should have been doing mace the entire time. I forget about these things. Again, going purely based on memory here. You were never in my go-to. On health. Die. Die. There we go. I'm gonna go up here and rest. Get my health back. I should go to the Shalil and Temple and get some healing skills or something. <laughs> but eh, what you gonna do? Eat some apples is what I'm gonna do. Then regain some health. That guy right there is coming for me. That one. Right there. He's coming for me. Monsters will line up to come attack you. One by one. Fall in line, boys. Anyway, I'm sorry I had to move the stream earlier, everybody. Who's here? Uh, hello. Um, I had to move the stream a bit earlier, because... Uh, oh, that's the guy who was talking to me earlier. Why is he following me? Because uh, I got off work early, and I decided I'm going to come here, and then I'm going to go spend the rest of the night with Wibbles. So, I decided to make the stream a bit earlier, so I'm going to get off here in about 45 minutes. And go spend the rest of the night with Wibbles and the kids. But I wanted to give you all the stream that I promised. Oh, shit. Okay. This is a cursed item. At first glance, uh, you can't you can't see this. Dang it! In the description, it says at first glance this item seems odd. Well, I picked it up and now it's stuck. And he logged out without camping, so now he's his ghost is there. Um, so now this sword is stuck on me. So now I gotta go break this damn sword. I can't get rid of it until I break it. Or somebody could cure me from it. But whatever, I'll just go kill some crab. Ugh. There you go, F Shovel. Remember, subscribe to the WMC on YouTube. <laughs> hey, Lydia. Welcome to the stream. I am still here. Oh, thank you for the bits, gray old twit. Four bits is four bits. 
I will take them four bits. Alright, I gotta go kill some crap and get rid of this stupid freaking freaking sword that I didn't want in the first place. That's right, F, F Shovel, nobody can beat you at plugging Wibbles. You can plug Wibbles like no one else. So no, it's not bad that it's cursed unless you're wanting to use a different weapon. So if you want to use a longsword, great. Doesn't matter. If you were wanting to use something else, like I was wanting to use a mace at that point, well, it sucks, because now I'm stuck using it, and I can't use my mace. And that rat's coming for me. I'm going to have to fight two at once. Whatever. Bring it on. I'll take two at once. I can take you. You're a rat, and I got a sword. Bring it. Phrasing. Eh. So, Toddy, none of these are my XP bar. This game does not have XP bars. This is a skill-based progression game. So you sit here and you beat on stuff until you get better at a certain skill. So I'll show you here in a second. Yeah, they're full deserves. These are your XP bars there, buddy. And Marion, there's an old woman who, sell who sells a curse potion. Okay, I'll go do that. Yep, you just sit here and beat this stuff. You beat it. You fight an ant. Bring it on, ant. Up oh, until that spider catches up to me. That spider's coming for me. He's getting closer. Run away. So away from me, spider. Can't kill the spider. Okay, time to run. So a little bit toddy. So again, there's no XP bars. There's no levels. You just have skills here. If I continue to use my sword, I'll raise my slash skill. If I punch, I'll raise my punch and brawling. If I use mace fighting, I'll raise my... Or if I use a mace, I'll raise my mace fighting. And as you continually kill stuff, you get uh, more health based on your endurance and stuff. So it's all about killing stuff and just slowly raising skills. That's okay, Fairing. So I'll, I'll figure it out. Marion's not a large place. Nothing in this game is. I popped my back. Again, I'm making my way to Marion right now as we speak. Pretty sure this is Marion right here. Get in there. Marion! I made it. So one of these is probably it. That's Rainer Hoth. What is this? Adventure Halls. You can't see these popping up, but they're things. Limping Tavern, the old salesman sanctuary, into the deep woods. We're going to go to the sanctuary and see if he's there. Remove curse potion. Bye! That didn't work. Your poison flask. Potion of purification? Well, no good. <laughs> okay, moving on. Seems kind of boring to you? How dare you? How dare you? Anyway, uh... This game could be boring if you don't like this sort of thing. If you don't like just kind of grinding out skills like old school MMOs had you do, then yeah, it could be boring. But if you're an old school guy like me who grew up with this game... Nope, potion didn't work. Shit happens. I'll just break the damn thing. It's fine. Back to killing rats! Anyway, if you grew up with this crap, this is the shit. And again, hell yeah. Suddenly feel a little tougher. 27 HP, y'all. Booyah. I'm almost to that dreaded 30 HP when I hit 30. Oof. 
30 HP is going to be a bitch. That's when the PvP starts. Although I haven't seen anybody who has PvP in their name. Like, nobody's PvPing, I guess. With this many players, it'd be hard, hard to PvP. Yep, almost at gankabil gankability level. Almost there. I'm 35 already. Oh, whoops. Guess I missed a few levels. A few HP. Or as we called them, toughers. I am on 101, Pharynx. 101. Better at the art of slash. Man, this game rules. I don't care what anybody says. It's boring. <laughs> I am playing the Elder Scrolls. This is essentially an early Elder Scrolls game. It's got action combat, skill-based progression, a large open world that you just run around in. I mean, come on. It's basically an Elder Scrolls game. Uh-oh. Multiple striders. Where you at? Uh, luckily, in this game, you can just hide in a corner and monsters don't hit you. <laughs> I don't know if they fixed that in later versions, but in this game, you could just hide in a corner and monsters couldn't touch you at all. And that was how you actually kind of survived in dungeons. Yeah, they are basically arena. That is correct. It's been a long time since I've thought about Elder Scrolls Arena. Oop. Oh, thank you. So who wants to see... Let me show you a dungeon. Actually, that's a bad idea. Now I think about it. I was going to go show you a dungeon, but that's a bad idea because getting back is kind of a bitch. It's a bad idea. I shouldn't do it. Correct, Aceon. Look at this. Look at this big old portion I have down here just to talking with my friends. It's dedicated to that. If I hit this damn thing, slightly wounded. Yay, I'm making no progress. But you die. Let me get you, Ant. Yeah, they're doing damage to me. I'm at 23 HP, 22 HP. He's hitting me. He's clearly injured. I'll get you. I'll get you. Uh, your HP also regenerates faster the higher vigor you have. So with my vigor as high as it is at the moment, because I got a tougher, and when I got a tougher, it put me at 200 vigor. With my HP, or with my vigor being that high, my HP regenerates very quickly. So. That's one of the reasons why it's they're not they don't appear to be doing much to me. Gotcha, sucker. Did not want that. There we go. Um I don't think so, Lydia. Like some monsters don't get hurt by swords and whatnot because they're uh resistant to slash, so it's not it's not that heavy into the RPG elements, I don't tend to think. <laughs> that dead ant was pretty gory, indeed. I improved the art of slash. Man, I'm just like a badass. I am all over my skills at the moment. Die. Die. Let's see what I'm at right now. I'm at 27 HP. Hey, there's sometimes rats full of gold and rats full of maces and stuff, so... Being full of mushrooms ain't... Yeah, yeah that's not ab-typical. Again, I believe that's what my dad said the first time he watched me play this game when I was 11. He was like, uh, why did that rat drop gold? And I was like, because, Dad, it drops gold. Duh. And he was like, uh, this game doesn't make sense. You all will be happy to know I have been playing a lot of uh, RuneScape the past couple months. Uh, old school RuneScape. People who are really into old school MMOs have been playing old school RuneScape. Namely because I got into the beta on my phone a while back. So I've been playing a lot of that. Um, but yeah. Just 
in an old school kick right now. Wanting to do some old school MMOing. Thought about playing some EverQuest, but I've been I played enough of that recently. Still gonna break this freaking sword eventually. You hit shit and stuff comes out. I don't think old school RuneScape on PC is going anywhere. I highly doubt it. I mean, they did move it to mobile, but I don't think they're dropping it on PC. It's doing way too well. Like, it makes a crap ton of money for them. I don't think it's going anywhere. Die, you stupid rat. I'm going to target you so I don't hit that slime. Because even the new RuneScape, like the RuneScape 3, is coming to mobile. Well, let me know if you find that article, Lydia. Because I don't believe that, but if it's true, they're an idiot. They're, they're, they're idiots. Well, in their defense, Lydia, I don't think anything was their cash cow. Well, some games made money, none of them was their cash cow, per se. I think old school RuneScape is easily their cash, cash cow. I don't think RuneScape 3 makes nearly as much as old school RuneScape does. Just saying. I may be wrong on that. I don't know. But anyway, RuneScape 3 is also coming to mobile. Like, they're, they're just bringing all their games to mobile. RuneScape works on mobile, like, really well. So that's a thing. I don't know how well RuneScape Scape 3 would work. Yeah, that is true, Lydia. And that's dumb. Like, it doesn't make enough money, so we're going to kill it. It makes money, but not enough money. That's stupid. That doesn't make sense, and it's stupid. <laughs> when is the Switch release? I would kill for this on Switch. Kill. Make it happen, devs. Murdering 59 on Switch. Granted, this game isn't, like, super maintenance mode it's just kind of existing from fans I think and some of the original devs I think are, are keeping this up at the moment like very few people are work, are, are in charge of this uh, RuneScape Classic okay so yeah I, I don't doubt that that's dying out how do you fight in this? E <laughs> E F shovel E hold down E We'll kill you, rat. I think I gotta be getting close to the second level of weapon crafting. Nasarius, this game aged incredibly well, other than graphics and controls. <laughs> other than graphics and controls, this game aged beautifully. At least the concepts did. The concepts are still great. At least to me. But I hate things like leveling and shit. And, uh, I don't know. I'm different. I don't like levels. Levels are dumb. I'm throwing it out there now. Levels are stupid. Okay. Let me rephrase. Levels are stupid if they don't mean anything. Then levels are stupid. <laughs> if levels are meaningless, like if you level up really quick in a game and levels are pointless, then levels are stupid and shouldn't even be in the fucking game. You're wasting everybody's time. 
Now, if leveling is slow, Ultra 85, it depends. Are we talking about EverQuest ding sound? Because in which case, I love that. That's my part, Nasarius. If levels are an over-glorified tutorial like it is like right now in World of Warcraft, where levels are basically pointless, why even have levels at this point? You could buy a level, a max level character and get you'll get a tutorial that teaches you how to play your freaking class. Yeah, you'll have to learn it a little bit to actually go do things like raids and dungeons and stuff, but you're going to have to do that anyway. But why waste everybody's time by having levels? It makes no sense. Oh, the Divinity series is so good. I don't blame you for missing streams for that. If you go play the Divinity series, I'm cool with it. You go right ahead. I need to play more Divinity. I did not get far enough in Divinity 2. But, like, levels in EverQuest mattered. It took hours upon hours to get one level. They mattered. It makes sense to have levels in that game. Uh-oh. I'm getting attacked by a slime. Ouch. Dude, you hit hard. Yeah, okay. He's going to kick my ass. Get out of here. Run! <laughs> I, I have heard the new Warframe update is good. I have not played it yet. I've been playing Warframe quite a bit. I'm probably going to play it more now that it's on Switch. Because <laughs> I take my Switch to bed at night, and I'm like, I need something to play. I've been playing Hand of Fate 2 on it, but I need something else. And no, that wasn't a ghost. That was a... Uh, there's some NPCs. Jaquetta? This is Meridian 59, my friend. This is one of the OG MMOs. I also underestimated Warframe years ago. Like, a lot. I underestimated that game a whole lot when I first played it. It is really good. I need to play more of it. I need to play it on PC, though. I don't... Well, I like my Switch just fine. It's not the same experience as playing a game on PC. It's just not. It's close, but it ain't the same. This thing's gotta be freaking... Oh, that thing was a, um... Okay, I'll show you. Hold on. I'll go show you what it is. Alright. Ooh, tougher. Ooh, yeah. 28 HP, bitches. Alright. So this right here is a NPC. There's a fa there's factions in the game. You can join a faction, and depending on which faction you join, you can fight the other faction's NPCs. It's very nice. Anyway, Warframe is very good. I will give Warframe its due that it is very good and very fun. I suck at it, but, you know. Yeah, Juketa, this is an MMO. Well, it's more of an MO nowadays. It used to be an MMO when a bunch of people played back in 1995. But it's an OG. This is one of the Orig MMOs, my friend. See, the thing about Warframe for me is, is that I don't understand half the things that are going on at all. I'm like, I don't understand any of this, guys. Like, what, 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 what's going on? That is a slime, Dark Soul. Oop. Wrong one. There we go. That is a slime. How old was I in 99? Uh, 15. This game came out at 95, my friend. Let me clarify. Space Ninja, kill bad guys. Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of, like, you need to get this certain item. You need to get this certain item. There are hunts going on. There are a whole bunch of events going I don't know. There's a lot going on in that game. And it's hard to understand sometimes. I am making my way through Warframe very slowly. 
That's just feature creep. Yeah. It is. <laughs> that is correct, Sion. You know you play an old school classic RPG when there are non ironic slime monsters. That is very accurate. That is very accurate, Juketa. I feel that more with Warframe, though. Because, again, there's that game has been going on for, like, five, six years of constant updates. And I'm like, I don't understand what's going on anymore. I could hop into World of Warcraft after three years away and be fine. Warframe, I feel like everything's different from the first time I played. And every time I hop back in, I'm like, hey, what's going on? I don't remember what's going on anymore. But, yeah, generally it's like that in most games. I hop back into this one just fine, though. Thank you very much. I know what the hell's going on in this game. Because it hasn't changed since 1996. <laughs> I think Juketa is correct. It is the most common phrase in all my videos. I don't know what's going on. The shovel was just killed. Shovel. Why'd you get killed by a fae, man? What you doing, shovel? I don't lie. I say I know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on in most things. Although sometimes I just say that for comedic effect. Yay! The sword's broken! Mace! Finally! The sword is gone. And I can drop that shit. Goodbye. Did I ever play Tibia? I never played Tibia. To be honest, I never played... Or to be honest, I never played Tibia. <laughs> Puns. Do I plan to cover Ashes Creation Apocalypse? Is it an MMO? No? Then no. Ashes of Creation Apocalypse is their Battle Royale, free Battle Royale. I'll look at it just so I can get a look at what combat's going to be like in Ashes of Creation, but I'm not going to cover it. Until the game is an actual MMO, I ain't covering it. And I'm not standing in a corner. Can't make me. I bought this nice new MMO mouse, and I'm playing a game that doesn't even use the mouse. I'm not wearing socks right now, and it's really freaking cold in my house. You will make Wibbles make me? Oh, okay. You can tweet at her. Let her know. Make Hive stand in the corner for my bad pun. My... To be honest. <laughs> Hi, Jason Rawl. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Sorry I started a bit early. I know. My mace brutalizes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm kicking that rat's ass. Hell yeah. I'm going to go see if I can uh, upgrade skills yet. <laughs> Bring it on, Ant. I could come to your kind when I was a kid. With a magnifying glass. Now I'm doing it with a mace. Although you are much bigger than the ones I killed. Although I'm in Texas, so there are some really big ants around here. Man, mace is kicking ass. Why have I been using the mace this whole time? Uh-oh. Spider! I don't think I can take the spider. How much you hit for? I've improved the art of mate fighting. Bring it on. It's me for one. Uh, the problem is, is he poisons me. That's bad. Yep. Crap. He poisoned me. Dang it. 
forget how poison works and how to get it cured. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I've forgotten how to deal with poison. Alright, we're gonna chill here for a second while I figure out how to deal with poison. Green herbs, antidote. It'll kill you, Hive, that easy. Thanks, guys. Well, while I'm here, I'll go check out this guy over here. Bottle of murky liquid, you're just throwing stuff out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Control B. Uh. Weapon craft skills. I'm trying to think here. Let's see here. Dodge. Let's see if I can get dodge. I can't see my thing. Further progression? Yeah, crap. Okay, I got a while. This game ran super smooth back in 95, my friend, and it runs smooth now. Alright, I'm gonna go get some friggin' something to get rid of this stupid friggin' poison. No, I can't hit that NPC with my mace, sadly. You can't really attack NPCs, except for like the, or like, you know, the interactable NPCs. You can fight the monster NPCs, but not shopkeeps and such. Lydia, I'm for I forget which ones I'm running. I'm running the healer frame, which is uh, one of the earlier ones you can get. I'm trying to remember what it's called right now, off the top of my head. And then I'm also running the... Uh, I've got two different frames. One that I bought, that was given to me. And then another that I earned. Like the Oberus? Obera? Ober Oberos? Oberos, I think. Something like that. You can go see this. Eh. That, wait. Nope. Wrong way. Dang it. I got confused. Oberon. That's it. Oberon. And then I'm using the one that, like... I'm trying to remember exactly which one it is. I don't know. I can't remember the names of things right now. Harrow. I am using Harrow. I have Harrow and Oberon. Those are the two frames that I have. We got it. Yay. Alright. You got Poison Cure? Poison Cure. Yay. Wait, poison's gone. Fuck! <laughs> so I did not finish the ring quest. I don't know where this person is. Um, Hester Gilk. Let me find out where Hester Gilk is. Where are you, Hester Gilk? Uh, Hester Gilk is in Kornoth. Okay. I will go finish the ring quest. I will offer her her ring. Get on, rat. We're going to go turn this ring into this lady. Oop, Wibbles is texting me. Hold on. She's asking what I'm getting, what I'm picking everybody up for dinner.
There we go. Now I'm coming back. I had to take chat off for a second while I texted her back, because I'm checking chat on my phone. Little known fact, Hive does not use two monitors, because my desk is not big enough for it. <laughs> Do I cook it all? Yes. So I, I cook a little bit. I'm not a, I'm not a good cook. <laughs> Was this game expensive? Nah, it had a sub. So you did have to pay per month. But I think at the original time, there was a box cost. So it was like a 30 buck game, and then you had to pay 15 bucks a month or 10 bucks a month or something like that. Uh, so there was a sub at the time. <laughs> Damn you, Puritan. I just have like a 32 inch monitor on a freaking, on a small ass desk. I could fit a second one on here probably, but I don't see a point. Like the only thing I would use it for is friggin' checking chat while I play games in Twitch. Other than that, I don't need two monitors. Oh wait, I need to go to Cornoth. What am I doing? I do remember when games were twenty were twenty or thirty dollars. I do. Have you ever seen binging, 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 binging with Babish? Nope, haven't seen it. Once you go two monitors, you can't go back. I use two monitors at work, and I don't feel the need to do it at home. <laughs> so, eh, I just don't feel the need. It's just like something I don't need. At all. Alright, let's see here. Uh, Solomon's edibles. The spindle and the spinster. She's down there. Go, go, go. See, back in the day, I used to know like where all the NPCs were. Like you just you just knew. Hey baby. How's it going, baby? Offer you the ring. Boom. She gave me some money. Thanks, baby. We'll see you later. I work in a uh, IT. I work in IT at a big, like, publicly traded company. So, I'm not going to say where. There are some things that need to be private. All right, let's go back to killing fungus beasts. Now that I don't have friggin' sword attached. I mostly just fix problems whenever they occur with some of our systems. When problems occur with our systems, clients will report it and I will fix it. But I don't talk to the clients. I'm like tier two support, tier three support. It has to go through like two layers of support just to get to me. Which is great. Littles is texting me again. Oh, please. There we go. All right, let's see if I can eat meat pie. Meat pie me. Yeah, maybe meat pie. I did share my bare feet with the rest of the world. That is true. I did do that. Had to get that foot reveal in, though. Got to get those foot fetish people addicted. They'll never be able to leave now. Pulse pounding. Swing of mace. Damn, pharynx. Damn. Damn. You spent a lot of time in that game. So I used to be frontline support uh, for like people who would have problems with call. So not clients, like just everyone and anyone who used our software. It sucked. It was the worst freaking job. Been there, done that, not going back. I've also worked in, like, food service. I've done a lot of different jobs in my time.
So, Nasarius, I popped up in somebody's stream, but in most of the pictures of people, like most people, or most pictures that people took, I'm not there. I stayed out of everything. Like, nobody... Everybody who was taking pictures, I just stayed the hell away. Support at work and your spare time? <laughs> hey, I play heels. That ain't support. That's pure awesomeness. Oh, that eating sound. Mmm, yeah. That is some ASMR right there. Very few people knew who I was, Nasarius. I kept that to myself. Well, I don't mind interacting with other creators. The few people there who I wanted to interact with, I did. But, honestly, nobody... Who the hell cares who I am? I am a middling YouTuber. Who gives a crap? 29 HP! Well, you care who I am. You care that I'm the hive leader. But do you care who I am in real life? Does that matter? The lazy peon on MMO bite care. Well, again, they know me as the hive leader. They don't know me as the real me. <laughs> Who I really am. Hey, Marcella. Curiosity is a powerful thing. One day I shall reveal myself to you all. One day. Nope. My father-in-law is calling me. Or not my father-in-law, my stepfather. Why is my stepfather calling me? I will talk to you in a moment, sir. I am going to get off in about nine minutes, folks. Anyway, one day I shall reveal myself to you all, and you all will be highly disappointed. It'll be great. Dang it, keep hitting the wrong button. So like regular Monday? Yeah, I'm basically Monday. Incarnate. One day I will make all of us do a face reveal. Me, Wibbles, Action, Toku. All of us will face reveal someday. And then you will know the true face of fear. Because not only will you see me, you'll also see Toku. I mean, you've seen my kids. Just age them about... Like, combine them and then age them about 20 years and you'll be fine. Actually, since I have kids, age them about 40 years. Look at all this improves. Improving slash, improving base fighting, getting HP. Man, I'm kicking so much ass. True, I am not an attractive single woman. That is, well, how do you know? Maybe, maybe all this is an act. Maybe I am an attractive single woman. Mm. Hey, guys. Everybody looking for a good time? 
I hope you are. With kids? Hey. Can't I be a single mother with kids? Is that a thing? You got something against single mothers? I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I need to get out of here. Run for it! <laughs> Run! They're gonna kill me! I have to zone. Otherwise, they're gonna kill me. I suppose. My apologies, madam. Why, thank you. Don't ever slight me again, baby. Don't question my sexiness. Anyway, I have thought about doing... Uh, I was offered a chance to go to Pack South this year as a guest. Uh, not to do much speaking or anything, but just to kind of sit in a booth. I don't know about that. I mean, I had thought about it. People could come meet me. And that would kind of be a reveal, per se. It wouldn't be on the channel, so it wouldn't be like an official thing. Who's guest? My guest. I would just be a guest of the friggin' place. Oh, crap. Fucking slime. Anyway, I would just be sitting at uh, a booth and basically meeting people. But I don't think anybody goes to Pack South, so I don't think it would be worth my time. Speaking of Booth, how goes the voiceover work? Eh, I kind of put a pause on it for a while. So I've had some auditions, and I do auditions every so often. Um, I've landed, a, like, a few things. Uh, so, like, I landed a game called The Subject, which is coming out next month. Um, it's an indie game. Uh, and you can hear, you can go to, like... On their YouTube, you can look up the subject tutorial, like walkthrough or something like that, or uh, demo, and you can hear my voice in there. And then I audition for a few games every now and then. Uh, and then I've had some audition for some anime. Uh, haven't booked anything yet, but I don't have an agent, which is probably harming more than hurting or more than helping. I need to get an agent. I haven't put a lot of time into it, though. I also landed a book, which I've been working on for a long time. Uh, but I had to put that on the back burner for a little while. About coming back to it and working on that. So I've been doing an audiobook. But again, I just had to kind of put everything on the back burner. I really need to go get an agent, though. And get some more work. But again, I need an agent to do it. They just don't look at... They don't even look at you if you don't have an agent. And I do my editions mostly from home. So I get emails and I send in auditions... They'll send me little scripts. I'll let you all know the book's title when it's done. It's not a big one. It's an independent book. Like a self-published thing. I'll tell you all when it's done. So everybody can go read it. Dang it, I wanted to hit freaking 30 HP before I got off today. I don't know if I'm going to make it. How do I balance a day job, YouTube, and voiceover? I don't. <laughs> I crack and I stumble all the time. Uh, the day job comes first. And then... Uh, again, I'm, I'm reconsidering all the voiceover stuff for 20... So I'm taking my break on YouTube for this December. For the you know rest of the year or whatever. And I'm kind of figuring out exactly where I want to go with all of it. 
and seeing if maybe I want to, you know, try to figure out how to balance things a bit better. But right now, I do not balance it very well. I can tell you that. It is not balanced. What the hell is going on here? Okay. So, Lydia, the first thing I would suggest you do is go take a class. Um... There's classes and stuff you can take from a bunch of different voice a actors, voice teachers, directors, and whatnot. So go take a class, and that will kind of help get your foot in the door and get you in front of people. They'll also give you a bunch of good tips and everything like that about your acting abilities and everything like that. Because, again, acting is the best is the most important part. You want to make sure you can act. And Because, again, just making voices is not all it is. Like, look at all the voice actors who really only have one voice. They get work because they're good actors. So you really want to take a class and make sure you can act, and then they'll give you some good tips, and then you'll also get to meet some people, and then at that point you may start landing some auditions. You also can work on getting a demo done and getting an agent, and God, I could, you could go on and on about that. It's a hard industry to break into, though. It ain't easy. But, and then after that, once you get that done, if you're going to do auditions, you're going to have to get a good setup for your house for voice acting because you'll be doing auditions for your house and you don't want to send in shitty sounding auditions. Ugh, I didn't make my freaking quota. I'm going to kill one more thing. I didn't make my stupid goal. I'm going to kill one more freaking fungus beast and see if I get my last tougher. Come on. Die. So really, I can't... You can go to, like, Voices123.com and start finding auditions. I mean, they have auditions all the time. So you can go there and start finding that stuff. Uh... Awesome Throck plays. Good luck to you, sir. Voice acting's a good racket if you can get into it. It's also tough to get into, but good luck to you, sir. I wish you the best. The bestest of luck. But, you know, again, I would suggest going, finding a class. Just look up voice acting classes near you. I'm sure there will be some. If not, you can probably find some online to take. Thank you, Throck plays. Much appreciated. All right, everybody. So I got to get going. I'm going to go spend the night with Wibs and the kids. The rest of the night, that is. I hope you all enjoyed Meridian 59. The greatest MMO ever made. There you go, Throck Blaze. Throck Blaze has got one. Again, Meridian 59... Amazing MMO. Play it if you haven't. It's on Steam. It's free. It's enjoyable. Anyway, have a good night, you all. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good holiday weekend. We should be streaming on Saturday. We'll be trying out our new wireless mics. It'll be so much fun. Anyway, I hope you all have a good night. We will talk to you later. I'll see you on Saturday. We're going to be playing some Jackbox. So, you know, you can play with us. It'll be fun. All right, everybody, have a good night. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.